I remember it like it was yesterday because it was basically yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I was on a, a walk and I was talking to one of my friends that I am in a, a mastermind with. We've been in this mastermind together for a number of years. And I asked him for some feedback on an email sequence I had written. And his response to me when he read it was, I don't find this relatable. And it was a fair comment, but I'll be honest with you. When he said that, I didn't hear him say, I don't find this relatable. I heard, I don't find you relatable. Let me just pause really quickly here because I'm going to explore, explore a little bit more on my, on, on my experience with that uh, and how I navigated that. But I'm curious for you, where, what's one thing that you hear that what's one piece of feedback that you hear that tends to trigger that kind of response in you, that tends to, to bring forth the response where in hearing that piece of feedback, it doesn't sound as though they're talking about something external. It actually sounds like they're talking about something that you internalize, something that feels more uh, sacred or more about you than about something else. Well, in this case, uh, he was talking about the email series and he's like, I just don't find it all that relatable. Uh, and I heard, I don't find you all that relatable. And I'm at this point right now where I know when I'm no longer like when I get when I get like triggered. And so we were able to navigate that experience with me bringing awareness to that, actually articulating and talking about it in our conversation. Um, but it took me it, it, when I got done the conversation, I realized that this wasn't the first time that I've had an experience where someone was talking about an external element and I internalized it. The thing, the time that comes to mind was in one of my coaching masterminds that I'm a part of. Uh, this is one where I get to be led um, as opposed to the Trouble is a Collective where I lead other people through experiences. So I got to be led and the leader of the group shared with me that he said, uh, Niyama, you speak at a level of abstraction and like, I can't understand your abstraction. And I remember I, it was, it was juicy and it was awesome. I got angry. Now, something that's important for you to know here is that I was actually experimenting with being angry. I didn't think that anger was not an emotion that I felt that I had, uh, that I could be safe in expressing as, uh, as a black man who wanted to be successful in America, like that, that didn't seem to be a path that I could take, right? Uh, and there's more on that videos. I've talked about this in, in a number of other places, but like the, the emotion of anger was something I didn't, I wasn't able to express most, a lot of times. Actually, it just felt very dangerous. That feeling just felt so dangerous. But I was, but I was in a space where all my emotions were allowed and I got a chance to play with, with anger. And someone came to me, another member of the mastermind came to me uh, a few days later uh, and she, and we were just in a conversation and I was still a little heated about it. I'm like, I just don't know how to get the help that I need. And she said something, she was like, it was so interesting to me because how she was in the conversation like also was an impactful element of it all. It wasn't a big deal to her <laughs> at all. She's just like, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's cool. Like I, I get it, it I, I get where you're coming from. And I wonder, like, are you, have you been able to actually hear, like, the feedback that he's giving you? I'm like, and I, I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, he's saying that, like, he's saying that I'm not, uh, I, like, I'm too abstract. He's like, I don't think he's saying that you are too abstract. It's the language that you're using, the stories you choose to share, the examples you choose to give, that's abstract. What if you're able to remove yourself from when he is giving you that feedback and instead of just able to hear the feedback as it is what might change if that was the case and my response there was like well i think i would if that was the case then there would be a truth to it uh and then i would want to get curious about it i would want to understand more about it. it's like yeah what if you brought that curiosity instead what if what if you're able to just say i'm hearing you i experience this as you're saying that i'm too abstract but what I believe you're saying is that this, the way that my approach is, is to abstract. Can you tell me what's abstract about it? Can you tell me like how I can make it more concrete? Can you like so on and so forth and just allow yourself to get curious. That event happened uh, about a year prior to, uh, to my friend 
to the recent experience where my friend came and said, I don't find you relatable. And when I got done, when I hung up the phone with, with, with my friend, I, I realized that the lessons, the conversation I had that year ago, that year prior, actually played themselves out in this conversation. Yes, I was still uh, really affected by it. And I called it out. I said, I was like, hey, just so you know, I'm not like right now, I'm not able to, to have the conversation with you in a rational place. I need to, there's something going on emotionally. There's something going on in my nervous system that I need to actually address uh, first and foremost. So let's make sure we have that as part of the conversation. So we got to be able to, to separate that out and be able to say, okay, there's something that I think I needed to handle on an internal basis so I can go back and get back to the external basis. And then shortly afterwards, we were able to talk through like, okay, so like what didn't make it relatable? What would make it more relatable? So on and so forth. Like the idea of relatedness is not like the, the true topic of this conversation with you. Uh, like the, the reason I'm making this video and opening up this conversation is the idea of like being able to get back into choice and being in being able to be in a place where when feedback comes, we're able to separate the external from the internal. Um, and look, I think this is important. I, I, I'm <laughs> part of the reason I'm making this video here is like, I, I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's part of the feedback that he got. He's like, it's just too transactional. There's, I don't feel you. There's no stories. There's no anything else in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm out here and I'm, uh, I'm stepping out my edge and, and, and bringing that into, uh, these video conversations, but to end and along with that, it gets me really curious around just that the tool and the tool of being able to separate the two out. Uh, this is where I wanted to go with it. The reason that I'm sharing this right now, because this is part of a part of my process and part of where, what feels edgy for me as I continue going out to allow my mess to be a part of uh, my, my navigation of the mess, to be a part of the journey, uh, to be a Sherpa from that place without having to be perfect along the way, but to just be real with you. Uh, and then the other side of this here is that like, I, I, I know that you're a trailblazer. I know that you're an outlier, a pioneer, a maverick, someone who does things that's unconventional, that's different from the norm, that's, that evolves the status quo into something new. And when that happens, we're a lot of times we're putting ourselves, what we believe, what our truths are, um, the vision that we have out for the world, like something that's, that feels deeply personal, we're putting it out into the world and allowing others to experience it. And so I don't think that this happens just kind of lightly. It's not just, I, I recognize that this is not an issue that I face alone. It's part of the trailblazer path because we're choosing to actually be seen as ourselves as we navigate this forward, as we navigate forward. And as a result of that, there are times where we might, we might feel the vulnerability of actually being seen or when something is external to us, it might actually be taken in uh, on an internal basis. So I wanted to share, that's why this felt important to me uh, to, to come out this, why I didn't want to hide this from you all. Uh, I'll be curious for you when, like, for me, I, th these, these videos are a way for us to like really just be in conversation with each other uh, asynchronously, right? Uh, so whenever, whenever you watch this, wherever you're watching this, I'd love to like, be in this conversation with you and allow you to be in conversation with others who are also watching this. Like, what, what's your flavor of this here? Where do you tend to take things that, uh, like external, uh, external feedback and internalize it? And what is one tool that you can do, you can use, or one thing that you can remind yourself from, it might be something that came up in this conversation already, or something that you have used in the past uh, that can help you navigate and uh, get you back into the place of continuing to move forward with your with, with with what it is that you actually set out to do. All right, let's engage in a conversation about that. Leave some comments. Let's just see. Let's respond back to other people's comments. Let's let's really engage with one another on this and see see where some of the truth lies on this. And if you want to be in an environment where we're doing this kind of stuff on a regular basis, then come and experience the Trailblazer Collective. Uh, I'm holding a session that to give you an opportunity to be in a community and uh, with a, a, a group of your peers. Um, they're globally minded, socially conscious and impact driven leaders who are facing challenges like this, who've chosen to trailblaze in their life and to take the things that make them different and use that to make an impact in the world.
And they're saying they're asking themselves the question, how can I be more successful and more impactful because of me, not in spite of me? Like this is this is the place where you're going to meet where real meets real. And we learn how to continue to grow with one another uh, and internally and externally. So that's something that interests you. Go to niyama.com slash collective uh, and sign up for our next uh, complimentary co collective experience. And you'll get a chance to to be served. And then if you're if you'd like to, you can come and join us uh, ongoingly within the Trailblazer Collective. All right. So we'll leave that at that for now. I'm curious. to. Um, I would love to continue the conversation. Um, and here goes the thing. I want you to know this. You got this. and We got you. Journey on.